Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and exciting updates from the football world. The three lions ultimately roared in their first encounter of the FIFA World Cup when they faced an Iran side which has a knack of producing against the bigger teams. And going into this match, everyone were really expecting Gareth Southgate to field a strong lineup which included Jude Bellingham, the sensational teenager who has been the talk of the town in the football community. If you ask any England fan as to what should be their starting 11 and who should be the first name on the team sheet, they would say Jude Bellingham because he is that creative spark which England needed and they coasted to a 6-2 victory. It was a complete thumping in the end and I just feel that this English team is made out of a different metal. The reason why I say this is because from back to front they were simply outstanding. I didn't feel that you know Iran were into the game really to be honest because they were trying to press England higher up the pitch and whenever th that was happening that was leaving wide open spaces in behind and once again Gareth Southgate preferred Bukayo Saka over Phil Foden which is something which is quite baffling to be honest because Phil Foden has been in exceptional form and one of the crucial talking points in the preview of this match was whether he would start Calvin Phillips alongside Declan Rice. What would be the midfield looking like? And he went with Jude Bellingham because he knows that this player can make those deep lying runs into the penalty box and he can score goals. He has been one of the most promising teenagers in the current football era and along with the likes of Jamal Musiala, I have to say that this player is top notch. The way he controls the game, with, the way he dictates the tempo, the way he you know, moves around with the ball, the way he makes those you know, runs, the timing of those runs is really important and Jude Bellingham ticks all the boxes which you would require from a deep line midfielder. Talking about the game itself, in the first 30 minutes, I felt that England were pedestrian. They were trying to create some chances, but you know, Harry Kane was not making those in behind runs. He was coming more deep and Raheem Sterling was not getting enough time and space on the ball. Credit to Iran where it is due, in the first 30 minutes they were in the game but suddenly a moment of magic came. Jude Bellingham timed his run inside the penalty box. Luke Shaw from the left hand side whips in a wonderful cross and a very very delightful header into the far post which gave the three Lions a well deserved lead. Yes, it was the 35th minute, it took some time, however once the floodgates opened, it was a real annihilation. And talking about how Bukayo Saka has impacted this team, well, it is just sensational. The young Arsenal player once again produced on the big stage. I'm sure everyone were talking about how would he bounce back, especially after he missed a penalty in the Euros final last year. And this time around, in the biggest stage of all, he produced a wonderful goal to make it 2-0 and it became 3-0 before half-time. Raheem Sterling at the end of a really, really clever cross by Harry Kane who just has a knack of, you know, picking out those incisive passes with utmost accuracy and Gareth Southgate was thrilled at half-time. It was 3-0 to the three Lions and after that I was just expecting you know, game management, a professional job and coming into the second half, I felt that it was time for Carlos Queros to, you know, really encourage his men to play some proactive football, which they did to an extent in the second half once it started. But once again, Bukayo Saka was instrumental in the fourth goal. He is coming from the right hand side into the left and the composure with which he took that goal was just outstanding and you know Gareth Southgate at this stage was over the moon yet 
the most disappointing thing that you know he must have felt is that the team did not keep a clean sheet and Jordan Pickford was not really tested at all and whenever Iran got that chance you know he was really not feeling very very difficult and when that key moment came Iran scored that goal it became 4-1 and the right back position is Kieran Trippier he has to do better but you know I felt that Harry Maguire and John Stones were really comfortable on the ball because Iran in the second half even though they were playing with a higher intensity England always controlled the game and the super substitutes Jack Grealish and Marcus Rashford came off the bench along with Phil Foden and it was Marcus Rashford who made it 5-1 a very very clinical strike by the Manchester United striker and after that it was just about you know just wasting time and ensuring that you you know keep the ball in Iran's half and Jack Grealish once again on the score sheet 6-1 and after that in stoppage time to concede a goal through a penalty was just unfortunate it finished 6-2 but i would say that the england team is now looking ready all the players are having that match sharpness and i feel that he should go with the same starting 11 in their next encounter against the usa and the reason why i say this is not because they were really dominant in this 6-2 performance the reason being that this team looks much more solid whenever you know jude bellingham plays and that is the kind of you know tempo and the structure which this england team always lacked they never had that kind of midfielder who can dictate the tempo of the game and sometimes he can take the game by the scruff of the neck and i feel that along with harry kane jude bellingham has a really crucial role to play and the only change which i would make if i was gareth southgate is i would remove mason mount because i just feel that in those crunch moments he does not deliver enough in terms of an impact and i would start james madison over mason mount that would be the only change if i was gareth southgate and the rest of the squad remains the same and people are saying that ben white could have started in the right back position but i feel that kieran trippier has also been sensational on the left hand side luke shaw was once again very very calm and composed on the ball he was making the right runs at the right time and whenever he had to step back and fall back he was there in the right position so overall if you are a fan of england you would be delighted because they have had a really brilliant start to this world cup but now the question is whether they can keep the tempo most of us would feel that yes they would top the table which features england usa iran and wales and i would say that you know this was just a marker to set the tone and make a big statement to the rest of the teams that england are real competitors they are going to challenge this year for the fifa world cup in qatar so guys i would love to know what do you think about the three lions do you think they have what it takes to lift their second world cup after 56 long years i would love to know your thoughts and let me know who was your man of the match for this performance against iran if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button share it amongst your friends and network and if you have not yet subscribed to the football mania it is very simple hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for regular notifications so until next time stay safe and take care